hello influencers how are we doing good morning good afternoon good evening from wherever you have seen this video welcome to another interesting edition of no host bad with it my name is itsunu how are we doing people i want to say a big thank you to all of you my subscribers out there those who have joined this um this right thinking family do you like what you see let me know if you're doing <laughs> In the comment section, uh, I'm not talking of NHS um, members because they will not like it. No matter what they will not like me, I don't really mind. So, uh, this video is uh, for the purpose of enlightenment. Mm -hmm. You know, it's for it's for the purpose of us um, getting to know what's up. You know, so uh, like I said, it's for if it's for us to to be educated to be enlightened so that we will know what is prevalent in our society so i saw so thank you for being here i haven't said that i saw an aunt of mine sent me a video yesterday a video of um uh, a content creator uh real talk with auntie aduni um, I, I know some of you will be familiar with her and in that in that video i watched yesterday i think she did it a while ago not too long ago but it was yesterday i saw it and in that video she like she did she said she wanted to create awareness on this trend about uh, deborah Eneche, the son of uh, pastor paul and and um Becky in of Dunamis Church. So uh, I know I have a lot of people that are not Nigerians on my channel. So I will quickly just let you know who this week will be wondering who is she talking about? Okay. Uh, so pastors in the two of them, they are both pastor. They <clears throat> they are the pastors of Dunamis church that's the church you're looking at that the church is a hundred thousand capacity church in abuja nigeria okay so this these are the the people that own the church so we're talking today <clears throat> but like i said this video is for is for educational purpose so we are talking today concerning the uh, recent trend in the dressing of their first daughter. That's I mean I can't say daughter. So daughter, man. Okay, let's go Nigerian. Okay, daughter. Okay, so <laughs> so that's um uh, Deborah, De Deborah, Deborah in nature. So when I saw this video by uh, Auntie Aduni, I uh, re talk with Auntie Aduni. Aduni discuss out of concern what this is about and it was she said this kind of dressing uh is prevalent among a sect call it cult called the gothic uh the gothic my closest uh knowledge of that word is if you if you use computer very well like i do in in words century gothic is a is a font in in the in the computer set uh programming so i never knew that such you know a sect or a cult is called the gothic all right so i and like uh, i do need to say the video i saw yesterday i I became concerned because our our youth this day, I can tell you for free that they are endangered species. A lot of time, I don't I, I pity them because I don't know what they are enjoying this day. I don't know. If you are older in the house, you will remember. Uh, back in Nigeria when we had the long vac, you know, around September and all that, we would go on vacation, we would go visit uh, uh, cousins, families, we, we sometimes we have summer school, do you remember, if you, if you remember such, um, 
at such period, please let me know in the comment section. And we had in secondary school, back then in Nigeria, we had paramilitary groups. We had the boys brigade. We had the girls guide. We had the girls brigade. We had the Red Cross, all these groups. We belong to all of the, all, all these groups, and we will go for camping in the bushes. Oh, it was fun! <laughs> Those are the things that that prepared us for the future. Those are the things that helped us to be resilient. Those are the things that taught us hard work. Those are the things that taught us that nothing good comes easy. But then, when you see what is going on in Nigeria today, I pity the youth because a, back then we went to parties, right? Let me know if you did. <laughs> this school. <laughs> Good old days, all right? This school went to this school, we did everything. Now, these days, a girl, a, a young girl, is not even sure of her boyfriend. We had boyfriends, yes. You know, there is a saying in my language that the mouth of the old seems as if it has never sucked breast before, right? <laughs> if you look at an old, old, old man, an old, old, old woman, old woman will be like, okay, you will, you will conclude that this one has never sucked breast before, forget it. They did. All right. Meaning that we were once babies, you know. So, a girl now doesn't know an undergraduate whatever now doesn't know the kind of boy she's going out with she's not sure if that boy will use her one day for rituals we hear stories all the time of boyfriends that used their girlfriends as rituals yes so uh, a story was told of a, a lady who uh, she, her boyfriend, her fiance, someone who's supposed to be a fiance, said, Okay, let's go and meet one of my uncles that you've not met. They were preparing for marriage. And he set up, in that same Nigeria, he set off, up a herbalist for her on the road and they kidnapped her and they tie her. I'm trying to pick my words because of YouTube uh, system. All right, so. So we see that all the time. So now, youth of today, they don't have any, they, they, are, they are constantly in danger. Now, if, if, if we had all that to deal with, and we are now again having to deal with someone who, who youth follows in, in the person of Deborah Enenche, I am not a follower yet because I don't have, I'm too busy to follow this kind of people. I don't have time. Honestly, I don't. So, but youth, even if it is the youth in her parents' church alone that follows her, uh, is a big deal. All right. So, I do need to discuss in the video I saw yesterday about the characteristics of this uh, gothic way of dressing the sect and i went online to make research and i saw a lot it's a lot there are um, uh, explanations on how they dress um, how the kind of things they wear uh, the kind of how how much they are into colors uh, they wear boots they are into belts. They, you know, you can see those photos. Uh, Deborah lives in Nigeria. Then you begin to wonder what is the what is the rationale for wearing boots in Nigeria? When I when I when I when I did my research, I saw that I saw where this thing came from the medieval way of dressing of this sect and i'm asking i'm wondering are we missing something like i said this video is to enlightened parents just like aduni did in the video i saw yesterday that by the time your children begin to 
show this kind of traits, you'll be able to know, you'll be able to nip it in the bud. Uh, it's it's so it's so it's so alarming the kind of things Nigerian pastors do. We've talked about them a lot for those who are ready to open their minds and and hear that it won't be too late. There was a time uh, last year, late to 2022 stroke last year when there were a lot of uh, talk uh, talks about. Uh, exchange of swords what those words you know signify that they are in this uh, kind of initiating them into uh, freemason you know all sorts and i'm wondering what is the purpose of all this is it just to do the work of god hmm. the fathers are fathers of old people who who served god who these people say they follow the the call of God was something those fathers of faith the no one none of them is alive right now those are those fathers of faith they they rejected these calls in, initially it wasn't something they they embrace you know because they know that the work of God is more than all this flamboyancy we are seeing all over the place is a big deal. It's a big work. So when we see, now that we see how this girl dresses, if she has all the characteristics of this uh, gothic people that we're talking about, the sect that we're talking about. So that's why parents, please, we need to be very vigilant. I check out uh, Adonisa yesterday that uh, she she kind of had a consolation that oh well they are they are dressing doesn't come cheap. Hmm. I checked online. I saw some of their dressing their dresses that are like uh, thirty seven dollars, forty dollars, forty five dollars, and all that and all that. But what I want us to know is that there will be recruitment in this kind of sect. So, if, because there are, when that um, um, broadcast was going on, although it was an old video I saw, she has done, she did it live, all right? When it was going on, someone wrote comment because she was reading out some comment. Someone wrote comment that uh, 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 Deborah's followers are writing on her page i don't know which of the page i like i said i can't i can't have time to be following this kind of person i'm too busy for that all right so that they wrote on her page that oh you you dressing fine you are you are cute in your dressing and all that and all that now if they showed interest in her and they sent her dm or whatever that what is it we like it why how can i get it trust me if she is indeed in this uh, gothic cult of a thing, she will recruit them. Yes, she will buy these things for them for free. It's like churches doing evangelism. You want to give people you are talking to, <laughs> you are giving messages about Christ to, you want to give them things that will make them come into your church. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. So. If they reach out to her that oh this dress I like it was about she would recruit them so it's not about that their dressing doesn't come cheap but is what we wear not even in all seasons in abroad like now nobody is wearing uh, boots in the US as I speak to you it is what we wear during the winter so if someone is living in Nigeria and she's wearing boots. What, what does it mean? Like all other courts, there are ways by which they identify themselves. Mm -hmm. Please uh, give this video a thumbs up and let me know your comment in the comment section. I always say when you give videos thumbs up is for YouTube to suggest the video to like minds like you. Alright, thank you for doing that. 
so like i uh, like i was saying there are there are ways by which they they recognize themselves so these are these are symbols all these belts boots uh, uh I, I saw you know the wearing of corsets and you know and all that uh, they are when they you use lipsticks is it that it is black or some deep 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 colors mm -hmm. it can be deep red it can be deep purple deep, you know and all that so what are we saying these are these are these are tokens yes these are tokens that we allow them to recognize themselves it's it, that's if he's in this court mm -hmm. so if like i mentioned the passing of um a sword the giving of sword to some pastors in nigeria we some of us discuss it on our channel then and there was there was a time um what was his name uh apostle selma was giving the sword and it was said that she, he didn't know what it was so maybe when he watched youtube channels and he saw the analysis of those swords there was a, a, a youth a, a content creator i saw that said he was planning to go and return it that means he might have taken it out of ignorance that's why we're talking about deborah uh, a nature now pastor paul a nature's son all right so so that she youths our youth they are dealing with enough honestly they are dealing with more than enough for now for them to now get recruited innocently into a court and what usually happen after recruitment is that you can't go back because now there will be threats there will be all that it might not be it is very prevalent in um in abroad the origin is was was from germany so and the french too they are into it during the the live broadcast of ajuni someone said this this girl schooled in london in uk okay so maybe that will explain if she's in it how she got involved so if fathers we have we have discussed a bit a lot about a nature i discussed a, a, a video where i actually asked about if his mom is late there are speculations on the way the woman was buried yes what we don't what these people don't know is that there are people working with you they will still have some people they will confide in that is you see in yoruba there's an adage in yoruba that says you can only do things and hide you can't do things and it will be like you've done it forever someday somehow it will come out now Having said that, Aduni said something yesterday that I really want to uh, want us to pay attention to. Um, she she said there is nothing like Jesus coming back yet. That um, uh, people will just be born. She was just trying to tell church people that don't believe all this thing that they are telling you that there is heaven, there is hell, that all that. that there is nothing like that. That people will just be coming and going, people will die, then we will have new birth, and that's how the world will continue. Uh, Sister Juni, I beg to disagree on that. If I'm a Christian, that doesn't. Uh, I, I tell people all the time that um, go to church with your brains intact. I know this woman has been hurt. I, I watch her videos, I saw the series she did she was a member of redeemed her husband was a pastor there and when the man passed how they treated her i i get all that but that doesn't mean that there is no heaven and hell 
it please let's study the scripture for the purpose of time i'm going to just read lots of scriptures for you that discuss the rapture christ is coming the second time take it or leave it because when you pass out that information to people it's it's huge it's huge i know you have your own hurt i'm talking to Arjuna now i know you have your own hurt about the church the thing is that there is no church in heaven no there is no denomination no redeem no winners no mm -mm. it is here that that ends that doesn't mean there is no heaven there is no hell there is christ is coming the second time you should look at luke 18 18. jesus even he asked them that he's coming to take his bride will he meet faith when he arrives that's the scripture that says that if you look at 1 Corinthians 15, 50 to 33, please read these scriptures. Those are the ones that talk about rapture. The Bible doesn't lie, except if you have another thing you read, except apart from the Bible. John 14, 1 to 3, Colossians 3, 4, 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 to 18. I wrote them here. 1 Thessalonians 2, 3, 2 Timothy 4, 1. Chapter 1, verse 1 and verse 8. Please check them out. Titus 2, 13. Hebrew 9, 28. James 5, 7 to 9. First Peter 5, 4. Revelation 2, 22. That's the last chapter in the Bible. And verse 12 of it, it said, Behold, I come quickly. That's Jesus talking there. And my reward is with me. To give to everyone as their work shall be. Christ, the Bible doesn't lie. The problem, I like I said, I I feel her pain. The problem with the church, with church people, is that, like I always say on this channel, go to church with your brains intact. Nobody can brainwash me in church because I don't go to church with my brains intact. I study the scripture. I don't rely on what anybody says. If, this, if the Bible is there for me, black and white, I read it. So that thing that uh, there is no heaven, there is no heaven. No. If Christ died, if you believe that Christ died, that he was crucified for us, you must believe that he's coming back because he's, he said he's coming back. When, when in, in, in during the ascension, when it was um, ascension rather, when it was being taken up after the resurrection, he walked the they walked the surface of the earth, you know, for some weeks, and when he was being taken up, and the disciples were said to be looking up into the, the sky. What did the Bible say? The Bible said an angel came and said. The way you see him leave, that's the way you will see him come back. So, uh, start, start doing it, please. I know you might, you have your hurts, you have your reservations and all that, but YouTube shouldn't be a place where we tell people the wrong thing. This is about people to learn. This is about, please, don't let us be... You, there's something Yoruba call Adon Moto. Don't let us get there before we realize the truth. Yes, don't let us, because that time it will be too late. The scripture is explicit about the rapture, the, the great tribulation. Please study Revelation. Your pastors, is they, they don't deal with Revelation. Revelation, the book of Revelation. All what they talk about is prosperity, how you will make it within seven, seven ways to make, uh, seven steps to prosperity, five ways to be a billionaire within a week. Those are the things they teach. I don't, I've, I've, it's, it's, a, it's a long time I heard a pastor talk about revelation. They don't. Very few pastors talk about sin these days. That's why I listen, you make reference to uh he usually say they should call him brother brother Billy Akoni. he doesn't like to be called pastor i listen to him a lot you should listen to his message please follow please look for his video and, and his channel and follow his video the church channel and follow and follow him he's in boko 
you will hear the undiluted those are the few people that are still preaching the gospel in nigeria uh this pastor in in, um, in kenya by apostle richard takim is a nigerian he's based in kenya i listen to him too so there is heaven there is hell you can't you can't um you can't crucify somebody like that so why did he die for us he died for our sins yes so and there will still be children of perdition that will not leave their sin so if he didn't come back for the judgment of those people there was no point then for him to have died in the first place yes so please study the scripture i i don't want you to be here after the rapture <laughs> Because you don't want to be here. You don't want to be here on earth after the rapture. Look at all what is happening around the world. Those are the things the Bible predicted as the end, end, end of the end time. Towards the end time. Knowledge will increase. There will be rumor of war. There will be war. Nation will rise against nation. Brothers will kill brothers. All sorts. It's happening. So let's let's get prepared because it can the Bible say like 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 the twinkling of an eye when the when this trumpet shall sound if we, we, we preach it all the time during during burials that it is the death in Christ that we hear the sound of the prophet I mean of the of the trumpet first so the question is will you hear it Either you are here, then alive, or you, you are dead before his second coming. So please, don't let us mislead people. Thank you so much. Parents, please take note. With you, and, and again, you yourself too, please go and read about this, this sect called the Gothic. It's, it's, it's spelled G-O-T-H-I-C. It's pronounced Gothic gothic so go on go on go on read about them there is, there's a lot a lot about them that if i sit here for the next one two hours we will not you know we will not finish it thank you so much people um like i said this video is for enlightenment it's for education educational purpose so that when your children begin to exhibit this you will nip it in the board. They have enough they're dealing with already. We don't want them being recruited unknowingly into, into a cult. That was why I made reference to uh, Apostle uh, Selma about the sword. All right. So thank you so much. I'm going to see you again. God's willing tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to discuss a very interesting topic, something a uh, lot of people are not paying attention to yes I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that tomorrow thank you so much i love you go to church with your brains intact don't let anybody babuzu you they will call you rebel when you ask questions in church when you don't align too well to what they are doing they'll call you rebel but know that it is god you have you are concentrating on not any human being but unfortunately, a lot of you go to church just to serve your papa and mama. Serve God. That's the, that's the, only, that's the only way out. And Christ is coming the second time. There is hell. There is heaven. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. I love you.